Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here with another Halo video. And we are so close to ending 2022. It's been a very long year, especially if you're a Halo fan. So we're going to take a quick second to reflect on the past year, talk about things that happened, and then the bulk of the video will actually be on what we can expect in 2023. And that's for the Halo franchise as a whole. But before we get into the video, literally 96% of you are not subbed to the channel who watch the videos. We are so close to 11k subs. It would be amazing to hit that for the new year start. I would greatly appreciate it. So if you love Halo, if you're still playing, if you're looking for a good content creator, I want to be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. And with that, let's get into the video. So the past year, been rough. You know, Halo Infinite launched. It was not in the place it needed to be. We had, you know, the six-month season. Seasons and it's just BTB was broken for like a month. Not a great time. It really felt like 343 wasn't listening to us. There were changes made to the Halo ecosystem that a lot of people didn't agree with. All the expected parts of the game, you know, were, were delayed, forged, but eventually we got most of those things in the game and then there were some high profile exits from 343 and there are new people in charge and it seems like 343 is really trying to correct their mistakes. December was probably the best month for Halo. We also had the TV show, and I don't think that I need to really put a lot of time and effort into explaining why that was kind of a disappointment. But really, December was probably the best month out of the entire year for the game. We had surprise updates, Forge launched early, and 343 was really, you know, putting their, their best foot forward. So now let's talk about the future. The most immediate thing that I think we can talk about is the joint fire event that's coming, I believe January 17th is what the leaks say. I'm not sure that 343 has actually confirmed firm that's the date but that's when we get to see the jfo helmet come out there's a couple rewards in there they look pretty cool won't lie 343 also kind of teased that they wanted to have another event where all of the reach stuff was going to be in a battle pass we'll see what happens with that and then we might have to wait until march 7th for any other substantial update and that will be the start of season three and the start of three month seasons we're supposed to get you know a continuation of the story hopefully it doesn't stink and i know you guys have already watched videos talking about what season three brings you know maps the bandit rifle new equipment all that cool stuff hopefully we'll see a curated forge playlist so we have even more maps in the game that would be great i'm also excited to see how they incorporate the story now in these seasons as much as i like to you know kind of bash on destiny 2 they do have a story every season you know whether it's good or bad there's new pv stuff and I think that that's something that really Halo Infinite has desperately needed is some type of PvE activity, firefight, just some type of story, mode, you know, strike. And that is something I'm super excited for in the future is the, the campaign AI being put into Forge because then I think, oof, we are going to be eating good. The next thing that I think we could talk about is the Xbox Game Showcase and according to some industry insiders, it could be planned for early 2020. So to me, that means the first quarter. And I would think that, you know, if if we're not doing like an E3 type of reveal thing, I, I E3 is no longer a big deal in the industry, it feels like. So I would expect Xbox to talk about, showcase a lot of Halo stuff. You know, this past year, Xbox was pretty silent uh, as a whole on Halo Infinite as... You know, they were trying to get their, their feet under them. So I would expect some, some pretty large focus on the game, especially if they want to see an influx in players again. I feel like that whole marketing campaign has to start up. It's basically like you're relaunching the game, and that's what I feel like the past year has really been, is them creating that foundation so when players do come back or there is a push to get people back in the game, there's all this stuff for them to partake in, and the expectations are met. That being said, we could also see the certain affinity game mode, whatever they're working on, the battle royale, or whatever, you know... At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going to turn into an extraction shooter. I've seen a lot of people say that BRs are dying out now, and uh, extraction shooters are the way to go. We've had the Bungie Marathon extraction shooter leak. People talk about how much they love Tarkov all the time. Call of Duty has their DMZ game mode. I don't know what that is, really. I've never watched anybody play it, and I've never played it myself, but I think that that is also an extraction type of shooter. But again, that's one of those things that I feel like is a big deal. Hopefully we see that game mode this, or not this year, but 
in 2023. And then we come to the Halo TV show. Now, if I'm I'm using any type of bias, you know, anecdotal evidence from people on Twitter and whatnot, it's that the show was widely disliked, which is kind of weird because if you look at, you know, the scores on those those websites and stuff, it's got a 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb, a 70% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 84% of Google users like this show. So I don't really know what that means uh, because I don't know anybody that really liked it, but with the direction that 343 has gone with Halo Infinite, I would expect that the showrunners, the writers, would have seen the feedback and it would behoove them to change the narrative of the Master Chief and the story as a whole. Although I think a lot of people tuned out after season one and probably didn't even finish everything. Uh, all the episodes, so it's going to be hard to convince people to come back again. But maybe they just make a show that's made for Halo fans and is good, and then they'll see other people start to get interested again. I don't know. Man, that first season, it just stinks because you feel like Halo had all these huge opportunities, the TV show. Halo Infinite had so many people hyped and playing it. Um, it just felt like a misstep. 2022, kind of rough, but 2023 is looking decent as of right now. So I want to know your guys' opinion in the comments down below. How do you feel about Halo, you know, in December of 2022? How did you feel about Halo for the whole year before that? And how do you feel about Halo going into the year of 2023? That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already like the video as it helps me a lot and i will see you around the ring peace